This is why these kids never get anything done. Just childishness. Oh, Klaus! Why does that make me emotional? That's the coolest thing you've ever done. Hey guys, it's your girl Aisha, aka GeekXXChic, and we are back with another reaction to Umbrella Academy. We are now on the season finale of season three, episode 10, which is called, give me a second, Oblivion. Just the theme of the whole season. <laughs> so the last episode was crazy. We had a lot go down, especially in the last 10 minutes or so. But basically our group has decided to cross over into the other side of the hotel into what I have to assume is another dimension. They're gonna to try to uh, ring these seven bells or I guess, I don't know, somehow activate something that the father says that they need to do in order to reverse what's happening with the Kugelblitz. They didn't want to do it. I should say half of them didn't want to do it. But unfortunately, the father did some pretty drastic things in order to drive the group into action. So as it stands, Luther is dead and Klaus is also dead because they were left behind. Whereas the other remaining six and their father went into the other dimension to try to take out the guardian, as they call him, and um, potentially do whatever it is this final mission is to save the world. We know that Five, I think, figured out that there was a little nefarious plot happening to make this happen. Of course, he's not going to really have a lot of time, I think, to get into it because at this point, to make those deaths worth it, they're going to have to go through with this mission. But I have no doubt that Klaus is not going to forget this. So we're basically at the point now where they either have to do or die, quite literally. The other side of that door no longer exists. So if they're not able to accomplish what they have to in here, I got to think they're either going to die at the hands of the Guardian or maybe this side will go too. Dad never really gave an explanation of what happens if they fail. So I am excited to see how we're going to wrap up this season. It's been very interesting, very introspective, very deep, but still a lot of fun. So I have to think we're going to end on a very interesting note. But as it's not the series finale, I would not be surprised if we end on a bit of a cliffy this time around. But all I know is that Ben better survive. Just putting that out there. All right, guys, with that out of the way, I'm ready to jump into the episode. But before I do, if this is your first time on my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for coming. I do reactions here to shows like this. So if that is your bag and you want to see me react, please go ahead, hit that subscribe button and join the family. We're on a march to 10K. We'd love to have you there. And if you like this video, I'd appreciate it so much if you showed some love to the like button. And if it's in your heart to do, please leave some comments below as well. I love reading them and interacting with you guys. And the same goes for those of you who've been here before. Welcome back. Thank you so much for coming. Please join the fam to watch more content by me. All right, that out of the way, guys, let's get into this finale right about now. Now, this long ass hallway that just gives migraines. Wait, Luther and Klaus? Mm-hmm. Allison's not sure if this is worth the price anymore, but. Ancient people believe we rode in the back. Oh, they're in death together. Cute. Where's Ben? Other Ben. Oh, that's right, he left, left. Why would you put pineapple on a pizza? Yum! Yeah. It's delicious. Stop hating on it. Klaus, are you listening? Yeah, sure. We're insignificant in all things. He does blah, actually blah, blah, listen blah, while sorry, babbling. Was... It's really weird. It's an interesting ability. We're dead. Welcome to my hood. <laughs> He's like, this is where I hang. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of desolate, but I mean, I personally be more island vibes personally. Ocean, some palm trees. If I, you know, if I had control over that area. Which I'm not sure if he does. What do we do? Does anybody know? Reggie? Reggie. Let him just do his work. Jesus. Strength. In these yeah. trying times. Taylor, can you come with me for a second? Yeah, let's not neuter her with that right now. I mean, yes, it's true, but at this point, if it's, you know, she's gonna die at the hands of a Google Blitz, her being pregnant is not gonna make any difference. She definitely does not want people dying for her at this point. Dad killed me. Oh my God, he killed me too. A lot. No, no, I mean, he's a real alien. He's like a bug person from another planet. It was a sign that this is my home. It's where I'm meant to be. Where's your mom? Yeah, I mean, uh, we're dead, right? As the Dougie, baby. <laughs> As the Dougie. <laughs> yeah. So what happens if I do this? I love him. But there ain't no pain in the boy. Yeah, take your best shot. Challenge accepted. This is why these kids never get anything done. Just childishness. Really sure that he could kill Luther. I think he yes. could kill Luther, Klaus, and the rest of us yes. without breaking a moral sweat. Yes. 
And what's worse, I think Allison is involved. No, no. Yes. She would never do that. She's been unraveling since we got to this timeline. Yeah, she lost her daughter. And she killed Harlan. Mm-hmm. All right, that's it. <laughs> Still don't get a deal. Yeah? You are the king of death. Oh, that's a little grandiose. I mean, yeah, I mean he kind of is. Emperor. I believe in you, brother. <laughs> he almost, you do, he almost brother. laughed. I saw that. We're here now in the Hotel Oblivion, just like you wanted. I made that happen. Don't be ridiculous. Allison killed Harlan and I united the families. What did you do, number two? Yikes. I mean, he's not wrong, but ouch. <laughs> ouch. The sigil. Correct, number five. The sigil is the key to the seven bells. Once we find this symbol, we're one step- It's on his chest. Done. Then for Allison, we've trained together, so it makes more sense if we take Allison. Yeah, no thanks. Why not? Yeah, I thought we were kumbaya now. Nobody wants to listen to your endless bickering. Now spread Facts. out, leave no stone unturned, and meet back here in 30 minutes. I love him. You know, he's just the audience. You know, he just understands us. I forgot my journal. Go on, I'll meet you on five. He is never looking at you two again. Oh, you're sinister, sir. But I need to know why you're doing this. I need to understand. Oh, not these damn... Oh, wait, are those bugs or are they robots? Surprising, I figured you'd know more about his plan. Sorry, what's that supposed to mean? I saw you. You know, your deal is costing people their lives. Do you really think that I made a deal with Dad to kill Luther and Klaus? You may not have known the details, but you had to know it was on the table. Wait, five... Allison. Why are you... Look, like, she's acting really guilty. Come on. Come on. You know that's guilt. Huh? What just happened? And why does it say five? Can they even use their powers in here? That's one thing I wondered from the first time Diego went in there, but they weren't there long enough to find out. And it says number five on this suite, which I don't know if that's what it said when he went in. Ah, see. Five? That said room three? Yep, I noticed that as soon as he walked out of the room that it said five. Are they all gonna be the numbers that they were now? which I don't even remember what Diego was. Oh my God, I only know five and Luther. And then we'll be a happy family. Mm. Lonely wives. Very unlikely. You're scared. <laughs> Motherhood's scary. Why tell the truth when you can just mind fuck someone into getting what you want without ever having to be truly vulnerable? Do you know how crazy that is? It's about right, actually, and a lot of people do it. It's pretty twisted, but. My mom found me. Okay, but you she are. wasn't really your mom. That's probably the first place to start with. She raised you, but she was not your mother. Your real mother tried to protect you. She probably would have screwed up, but nowhere near as badly as your adoptive mom. Oh, they Did went we? together. Okay. Can't believe I'm saying this. I'm actually glad to see you guys. Okay. So it's not just his own personal hell? Oh, maybe you have no sense of direction. Okay, lead the way, Magellan. Nah! Please, how do we get back to the way things were? You know, before that fake apology and, and the lies? I don't know that we can. She doesn't want to at this point. That's the point. She does not want to repair it. She wants to be angry because it's easier than feeling the fact that she's really, really hurt. <laughs> Problem, Dad? You. Mm. Fascinating. I wish I could explore this more, my boy, but now isn't a good time. I knew you'd find your way back to the void where you belong. I do like it there. Then why are you here? <laughs> I am one bell ring away from my prize. You're going to ruin everything. Oh. Prize? What is the prize? Why did he refer to it as a prize? So Klaus can literally reconstruct himself? That is ridiculous, by the way. But also, is he really here? Or is, or is he only able to reconstruct himself in this world? Oh, I've got so many questions about wherever he goes. The void. <laughs> Okay, their powers definitely work here. I mean, I would have let her hang on the floor a little bit just cause she's been really, really kind of jerky the last couple weeks. Actually, I shouldn't say weeks. I keep forgetting it's been like days. So <laughs> it feels like weeks. I thought there were multiple or is it just one that splits? I'm so confused. This whole place makes no sense. <laughs> I feel like it's not human. Nice shot, sweetie. 
Thought so. Oh, oh no, it's bleeding. I thought that was sand that came out of its eyes, but that looked like there was blood on that. Green blood? Which if it's green or blue, maybe it is part of whatever dad is. <laughs> Yikes. Can you step further back into the elevator, please? That one's a long sword. We have really? an ax and we have a uh, mace. No, morning star. Oh, a samurai. Why would you do this, son? Revenge looks good on her. Would you shut up and help us kill this thing? I don't think he wants to. I feel like this Ben's gonna die again. I'm so sad. Why can't we have a live Ben? I made a deal with Dad. Okay. Yeah. Why tell me now? Because we're gonna die. Because I need you to believe me, okay? What did he offer you? I need you to trust me. Look at me. If we get through this, everything's gonna be okay. Why wouldn't you just tell him everything at this point? <laughs> Damn, separated. So there's no way I can convince you to sit this one out. Finally, I you'll think get it's it. already been announced. I do. Protecting my family, all right? No, no, no. Or maybe you made it worse? Hey, asshole! <gasps> <gasps> Slun! Come on, Ben, don't be that guy. Don't be that guy, Ben. Come on, even though I think it's gonna cost you your life. I hate the show. gonna cut his tentacles, I just know it. Will you guys move, please, and stop being an odd help him? I freaking knew it. I had to lose two tentacles because of you bastards. I hate you. Okay, I'm actually not. He did take a long ass time to act. Is he okay? Is it okay if the tentacles get cut? Do they heal? Do they grow back? So many questions. I'm tired of running. Me too. Oh, between the two of you, you should be able to do some pretty damn, pretty good damage. This feels oddly familiar. At least this time we're not aiming at each other. I was gonna say, you're on the same side, so it's better this time. <laughs> Don't blow up the whole hotel. Ooh, is there something in there? Damn. <laughs> Let's not find out, let's just run. Welcome back. This is the floor of the hotel. So they've rung two bells now? Oh, you look like hell. Why don't you try killing the guardian? We just did. So did we. I told you to stay in the- Exactly. What's your plan, old man? We don't have time for this. Tattletales. All of your stupid myths and stories. There were never seven bells or Norsemen. I think there were. We just need to find the sigil. I don't care about your sigil. None of us do. No, we barely survived that guardian with his oh. stupid helmet and a Look sickle. who's figuring it out. Oh! See, I'm bad at these games. This is why Five is doing this, because I would not have noticed. I found the sigil! It's on the... No! That's what happened already! His 100-year-old self had no arm. Damn it! No, you better give him back his arm. I'm dead ass. <laughs> Poor Klaus like I just got back. Why is she just standing there? Sloan, move. Still moving. Nobody hurts my wife, you son of a bitch. How did he get back? Is you confused? Oh, you are ugly. But are you dead? I guess. Oh, close! Why does that make me emotional? That's the coolest thing you've ever done. He can res people? To use me on this stupid mission? You did have a purpose. I left you to guard the most precious thing in the universe. And what was it? My wife. You'll soon understand. You all will. Well, then hurry up and get to it. 
Oh, no, he's still gone. I can't hold it. Wow, Klaus's power has gotten so much stronger. You're a king, Klaus. That's what I thought. I didn't think he was dead. Children, find a star on the sigil. Stand on it. Not bad. Seven points, seven of us. Where the bells? Guess so. You do look very bonny, my little bells. Not you. Why? Why not, Allison? Can you hurry, five? This would be a great time to teleport. Number five, quickly. Allison's gonna do it, and she's not supposed to, and I don't understand why. Oh. Oh, that's why. Ew! So these were all just roaches. Y'all really almost got killed by a bunch of roaches. I mean, I know roaches are hardy, but goddamn. It's the way his dad, the dad always looks so clinical with everything he does. This looks amazing. Where are we? What's happening? Your ship? Are you powering your ship right now, you selfish jerk? We're stuck inside a machine in another dimension. Whoever created the universe built this place. Okay, what does any of that have to do with them? The particles inside their bodies are the only things that fuel the machine. Try to kill Klaus. He won't stop until we're all dead. But is there another alternative? Everything in life has a price. I don't know what the right answer is. This is hard. I mean, they're looking pretty bad at this point. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. But then are you guys stuck here forever? Was this the right answer? I'm confused. I don't even know. This is not an easy yes or no situation. Don't make me do this. Do you trust me? I don't think you have it in you, though. Victor, what are you doing? Stop her! What are your alternatives? Y'all are like two seconds from death anyways. I really hope this is the right house this time, because if that's the same baby, she is seriously going to need a lot of therapy. Make sure this time. Please look at her face this time. What's wrong, Mama? <laughs> but is this real? Baby. Is this real? Were you always meant to be? Wow, Claire Dad Erasure. <laughs> and this is why I don't think this is real, because that can't possibly be the case. Ray is like 50 years older than her. Do we see the others or? Okay. I was like, it was just Allison. Luther? Luther? Oh, and he's not a monkey man. I'm alive! Oh. Where's Sloane? Holy shit! My body! Wait, I look amazing! <laughs> yes, you do, Tom! I got my arm back. This is so cool. Wait, 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 wait. Where, where's Sloane? Where is Sloan? Oh. Not felt this good in years. Wait, is Ben so here? know where the hell we are. Oh, okay. I think you reset the universe. You got your fingers back. Are you still pregnant? I don't care about any resets, all right? I want my wife back. Where is she, Five? I'm glad you're alive, but please don't. Where is she? <laughs> His British accent keeps slipping out. It's so cute. Screw this. Oh, no powers. That's why don't he's not a monkey wrong. man anymore. You're probably the one who doesn't need him. Ghosties. No. Nope. This means I'm mortal again. Oh. I'm sorry, boo. What's funny is I didn't realize that if you guys watch Misfits, the guy who plays Klaus was immortal in that too. His character was immortal. I'm out, bitches. Oh, guys, come on. We should stick together and figure this well, out. What are we supposed to do? Live, Live a lives. normal life. See what that's like for once. I don't know if she's still pregnant. I'm assuming that's a completely different situation, but we'll see. Hopefully, that'd be really sad. Is it a bad thing to be normal? I don't think Five ever wanted to be, to be perfectly honest. Oh, right, the particles were coming out of them. I forgot. Marigold. 
Hargreaves World. Y'all are rich. <laughs> that sounds like a good idea. <laughs> I like this reset. Okay, who's up here? Who's in Hargreaves Tower? He remade the world in his image. Or <gasps> he got his wife back. I'm sorry, I can't be mad at him for doing it. Is she an alien too? Did he just colonize this whole planet, by the way? <laughs> Is that a bad thing? And that's how we end. Wow, what an interesting way to end the season. Okay, hold on. Let me just, oh, wait. There is a, there was, sorry. I'm like, is there post credits? There was. Okay, we're in Korea again. Is he going to find his mother? But yeah, I mean, he's the only one whose mom is still alive, potentially. Maybe he's going back to see if he can try to find her since he actually has that option. And it's been all about family for him and the fact that he didn't have one. Wow, guys, that is the season finale of Umbrella Academy. And that was very interesting. I still have questions. We got a few things answered, I guess. So I guess I'm going to come to the father's thing, I guess, first and foremost, because I was like, why is he doing this? And I thought it was very interesting that he said, I'm steps away from getting my prize because my question, you know, after watching the last episode is after he told Five that he's watched universes fall apart before, I was like, so why do you care if this one does, right? If you've walked away from a universe <laughs> imploding, what's so special about this one? Because it's clearly not the kids. You're not that emotionally attached to the kids. We know that. So what else could it be? And then we saw his wife up on the moon where I, I guess he's kept her in cryostasis, which I understand now because now that I'm thinking about it, since she would have died way back in the early 1900s, you know, cryostasis was not a thing on <laughs> Earth yet. So he probably had to put her up there so that no one got suspicious of why he was aware of such forward technology, right? Because, uh, you know, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm crossing over like my Star Trek knowledge here where you don't like interfere with a planet's natural progression as far as their understanding of science, etc. But so for him, he wanted to reset a world, I guess, where his wife lived. But I don't know if his wife is human because if she was, she would just died of old age. But I, maybe she died of illness. I have, to, I don't remember what happened in season one now about how she died. But my guess is it wasn't just old age because then resetting the timeline wouldn't make a difference. She'd still be old, right? So I'm thinking something untimely happened to her and he wanted to bring her back. And the only way he could do is if he changed whatever was happening on earth. So he says that, he said that the Hotel Obsidian, well, the other side was actually, a machine and that looked like the language in it and everything I have to think it's something that came maybe from wherever he's from right because he's not human he is not from earth so maybe I thought maybe it was a ship maybe he that's how he arrived and like he's just buried the ship here the whole time but then why would he be searching for it and building the hotel around it so yeah that doesn't make sense but anyway he knew it was a machine clearly not built by humans and he knew that the particles that created the children is what was fueling the machine. And the machine had to be destroyed to stop the Kugelblitz and reset everything. But what I'm confused about is why did the particles go out in the first place, right? Because I thought at first maybe he was, maybe he was the one who did it. Because I was saying, I thought at first, my theory is always that the father did something to create all the spontaneous pregnancies. But maybe he didn't. Maybe he somehow accidentally triggered whatever released the marigold into the world and the marigold decided to do its thing and create these kids. But the marigold was never supposed to be in the kids. Maybe it was supposed to be somewhere else but now yeah that makes sense why we saw what happened between Harlan and Victor so now we understand that basically the particles are being pulled out of the children although it looked like it was killing them but I guess the, the father knew all along it wasn't going to kill them it was just unfortunately I guess the effect of pulling that their powers out of them but there's still a lot of questions I still have a lot of questions as to kind of like what was happening there like maybe they were gonna die I don't know but it seemed like he knew it wasn't well he's just saying a few more minutes till we get what we want that's what he said to Allison which he knew Allison would get her family back as it was or what she wanted it's what she wanted because it wasn't her family back as it was because she was married to another man. Claire is a different father. That's not even the real Claire, really, because her daddy was not him, was not Ray. So yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to piece all this together in this review. I'm going to have to probably think and sit on it for a bit, but I would say that 
This is not really a true reset. It's a re-imaging. And it's based on what Reginald wanted and what Allison wanted. Now, I'm not sure what happened to Sloane. That's a bit interesting that she's not here because why would she wish to be anywhere else? But our original uh, um, uh, umbrellas really didn't get anything back that they wanted per se, outside of, of course, Five getting his arm back and um, Luther no longer being <laughs> half ape and um, Diego getting his fingers back. But other than that, no one else really got quote unquote what they wanted, right? Because Allison got her family as she wanted it back, right? She's got her daughter and she's got the man that she loves but again those things don't fit together or even in the right timeline and reginald's now like the king of everything which the kids clearly haven't noticed that this whole world is like reginald world so i gotta wonder if there even actually is a reset or if they're somehow yet in another dimension so many questions i gotta think it's another dimension again because this is obviously not the same world that they're used to because the old world was not controlled by reginald that we know of so oh so many questions why was his wife so important is she human does she know what's going on why is he still alive because it looked like reginald got slipped sliced in half so he's back but now the kids don't have their powers or do they really not have their powers or can they get them back like I feel like they're supposed to have them though so I don't know this makes me wonder what the heck we're gonna do in season four but my guess is we're gonna peep in on them a little bit later with them trying to live normal lives again and I have a feeling that something is just just not gonna be quite right and like I said if there's anyone out of that group that I don't think ever wanted to lose his powers it was five um he I think he really much uh, very much enjoyed who he was with his powers some of the others I think that they'll be somewhat relieved but like I said I feel like this is not going to be exactly the way that they thought it was maybe not for them I feel like Allison's the only person who's maybe gonna feel a bit utopic <laughs> you, you know she's gonna feel like things are pretty good but I could see something just being off like we all know it can't be that good it's gotta be a there's gotta be a catch and I think it has something to do with the fact that Hargreaves is somehow the king of this world but we're gonna have to wait a whole season to find out or a whole you know, till the next season, I should say, to find out what that catch really is. But overall, uh, I think it was a great season ender in the sense of like what we we could accomplish. This season to me was much more about a lot of introspection with our Umbrella Academy. I do think a lot of that had to do with the fact that this was filmed during Panini. So I think a lot of, you know, not being able to go to too many locations and stuff, like a lot of the season was condensed to the hotel, if you notice. And I think that was just, again, just to keep things easier and to make sure we could get production done during a very dicey time. But I'm hoping season four is a little bit cooler and flashier in the sense of a little bit more like going out and doing different things. I didn't talk too much about like all the things that went down as far as the decision making in the episode for the father, for Allison, because like I said, this was not an easy situation. I mean, there really was nothing but hard decisions here. Like everything had such high stakes and I don't think the father was necessarily wrong. And as I said, I don't think of him as a malicious person. I think he's very tactical and strategic, but the the fact that he went to get his wife back is probably the most emotional thing we've ever seen the dad do. And I think, again, we have to remember that I think the father knew that they were going to be back and alive in the new timeline. So he knew he wasn't really sacrificing the children as they believed. But of course, being human, they wouldn't understand that. So I just hope in season four, we get more info on the father. Like what is going on with Reginald? Who is he? What is he? What is his real purpose? Why does he keep messing with this planet and these kids and these powers? I need to know more about it. And I'm hoping season four will finally get it and get the answers as to why all of this is happening. But it was a great season overall. I really do hope that uh, my boy Luther gets his wife back because yeah, he he, did, he went through a lot to get her back. And the fact that the kids can remember everything in a world that was reset is a little bit interesting as well. So I'm looking forward to season four and getting more answers. But this was a lot of fun this season. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching along with me. If you have theories and ideas and you know, all those kind of things, please leave them in the comments below. I'm sure I missed things, but my brain is still scrambled and I think I probably missed some things. So please let me know if I missed something important. Thank you so much for watching along with me. If this is all that you watch from my channel, then I will see you in the next season. But if you are watching other things of mine, then I will see you in the next video. See ya.